Hello. So the big question that was um, pending is um, how can we find the right abstraction for our application? And uh, we can look at, uh, try to answer it uh, in the context of the, the process of design or design as a process. So the verb, so uh, what are the, the activities and the techniques and the tools we are going to use in, for, in order to come out with a, a design for my system. And basically, you will find uh, two approaches, as usual, and uh, as usual, a mix of uh, both at the end, as you are a, a, a pragmatic engineer, and basically you apply the, you mix things to, to get the best results, okay? And, but two approaches is either you do it uh, top-down or button up. So by doing it top down, what you do, you do a very strong requirements uh, phase, elicitation phase and analysis. And by looking at requirements, you need to come out, you try to come out with what, what are the right abstractions for your application. And then you start building these right abstractions. Usually you describe them in, in, in models. And finally you, you get to the code and basically you implement that. Okay. But in button-up approaches, what you do, you basically start implementing the functionality. And you don't try to do a, a extense uh, requirements engineering phase to understand all the functionality. What you could say is that, well, your focus is my program will have the right abstractions for the amount of functionality that is implemented now. As, and as I increase the number of functionalities I, as I do in incremental development and increase the number of functionalities, I basically rewrite or re-abstract and the word is I refactor my system. Okay? Good. So now I'm going to focus a little bit about what is this top-down process. So if you do top-down process, and for instance, if you are in the context of um, UML, for instance, what you're going to do? So first you try to do a bit of, uh, understand a bit the business. So probably you do, you describe your business, you do business modeling, which in my opinion is not software engineering because actually you're not describing a system, but, but you do it to understand a little bit what is the, the context, so you define the context and then you, you identify your system. And when you identify your system, what you do, you define a set of use cases. So what are use cases are, you're going to describe your system from the perspective of how the users are going to interact with it. And you describe these use cases and you can you try to be ex very, very com you try to be complete on this description, so to identify all the, the business case, uh, all the case use cases, and then you are going to try to infer your abstractions from the, uh, the the use cases. So you are going to try to infer what are the entities that are involved in the use cases. So you look at the use case descriptions and probably. You, if, if we follow a, an object oriented approach, not necessarily, but if, if that's your, your, the paradigm you, 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 you are following, what you're going to do is just look there and say, well, the verbs are methods, uh, nouns are classes, and you are describing our abstractions. And then I do some type of cross-checking. So you look, you have an, a class, okay, and then you see does this class fits all the case use cases? Then you you, you come out with with, with abstraction, and uh, this is basically the approach. Then then you have these classes, and then you start defining the methods, and you you, you go for implementations. You define interfaces and go for the implementations. So the main idea in the top down approach is, is that um, if you really look at requirements extensively you will get abstractions. The problem with this is that, uh, as I told you, most of the systems are uh, P and E systems. And uh, yes, as soon as you start implementing uh, or, or as soon as you just deploy the first version of the system, the requirements are going to change. And so it's difficult to get uh, 
the right abstraction is completely up front. And um, I'm not saying that uh, you should not follow this approach. Yes, yeah. Uh, but please be aware of uh, its limitations, okay? And uh, probably uh, include in your approach is probably part of it, in, 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 in your uh, uh, practices, probably part of this top-down approach, which is relevant, especially when you already know a lot about the domain where you are working on, but uh, never forget to also include uh, more button-up, uh, some type of uh, button-up uh, techniques that allows you to, to basically uh, tune your uh, understanding of, of abstractions. Or, if you prefer, do everything uh, uh, button-up. But in reality, people, good engineers, pragmatic engineers, mix both things. Okay, enjoy.